So today I'm here with my sister-in-law, Aspen. And I have done a video with her before doing some balayage a little while ago, but her hair now, like you guys can see it growing out and it looks so great, but she's ready to go lighter. So she's always been, what color have you always done to your hair? What, dark? Yes, like black, super, super, super dark, which looks really pretty on her, but now we're ready to go to the light side. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna show you how I'm using a paintbrush because I just started using paintbrushes and it's pretty awesome, especially when you're doing super, super long hair like this. So let's go into the salon. As always, guys, remember, I am a licensed stylist, so don't try this at home. All right, so here's my sister-in-law's hair. We have some previous balayage. I can link the video down below of what we did to her hair before. We did very, very, very subtle stuff. So she's got a few different colors in her hair because she used to color her hair dark. She has those highlight balayage and then she has her new hair growing in that's lighter than the color she was doing before so I'm gonna go in with my blonde studio by L'Oreal and I'm going to use this with a 30 volume always working with Olaplex because that saves hair I wanted to show you guys my tub of lightener so this is the L'Oreal lightener it's the multi techniques blonde studio it's amazing and I like to mix to a ratio to where it's like frosting on a cake so you guys can see my sectioning I do two lower side sections towards the ear up to, I do it like above her parietal ridge, depending on where your client parts. And then I also have two sections in the back. I really just break up the back into two sections. So I don't have to try to work with all of her hair because my sister-in-law has a ton of hair. So I'm going to be taking zigzag partings because that just makes our life easier when it comes to blending things out. Now guys, I have been trying out paint brushes. So this is a brand new technique for me. So I wanted to show you guys a few different ways that I have been trying this out. So of course I'm going to tease her root her um, hair up so that I can work with a less amount of hair so that the blend is super super soft because Aspen always likes really soft hair. I am working with foils on her hair just because her hair is darker and we definitely want it to lift up to like a level eight area. So the foils are just going to incubate and allow her hair to get heated up to a lighter level. So I'm using my paintbrush kind of more like so a color brush in this circumstance and this foil. I did a few foils like that to kind of show that you can also use these instead of just a freehand technique. You can also use it in a foil like this which is great because I had such a large brush to be able to cover a lot of her hair really fast. So it allowed my time putting in this like foilage in her hair to go super fast. And then I just like to book my foils closed, meaning that I fold them like so, giving me a really easy way to keep my balayaging really neat and flat so I'm not adding like any creases in it. So another way that I did this is again, pulling out a section, teasing up a little bit of hair. Then I'm going in and freehanding this. I wanted to show you guys a few different ways that I tried it out, like I said, because this is so new to me and I wanted to share with you guys how I feel about this. So working inside a foil on top of a foil was a little bit more difficult just because the bristles of this paintbrush, it just makes it feel a little weird, maybe because I'm not used to it. But when freehand painting, oh my gosh, this is a dream. It is so easy to apply. Now, knowing that I'm using a lightener that is the lightener that I like to use, so I tried this out by balayaging on that top part and then painting on in the foil the ends. Now that kind of made it a little bit difficult because my foil was going all over the place as you guys can see. So it was an interesting feat to try it out. Again, the bristles are kind of weird. They're not like regular color brushes that I'm used to. Since I used the Fremar brushes, um, this was a little bit more flimsy. So I probably won't ever be doing that again because I'm going to be trying something else new. But watch me fold this. So I fold fold one side up and then I fold the other side and it lays perfectly flat. There's no big foil bunching and you're not going to get any crease marks in your lightener on your hair. So I'm going to grab another section right here. If you hear a little bit of singing, that's my baby in the background. So what I'm going to do is different this time. You guys see I've got a gloves on my hand. I'm going to get into the way that I really like to balayage, and that's by using a glove and the back of my hand. So I'm going to paint some of my lightener on my hand to use as like a reserve for when I need to pick up more lightener. And then I'm going to start painting this on. Now you guys can see I'm using my brush at kind of 
a sideways, like I'm not using it straight on to the hair. I'm kind of brushing this on at an angle. That allows me to control the amount of it's like surface pressure as well as um, allows me to really control how much I am putting on and how soft it's looking. I did this section so fast. I was so excited. I mean, this is in real time, guys. I haven't fast forwarded it or nothing. It was really easy for me to apply this color and then just to look underneath and blend it out a little bit more. And then all I did was lay down a foil because again, I'm doing this in foil. So it's not all open air balayage, which you totally can do with this. I'm just showing you guys. I like to use my foils for a foilage because it lifts her hair like I need it since she has so much previous color on your hair. We definitely need the foil to help us budget. So all I did was lay that down and then folded it in just like I did the other one. So I ended up using this technique all throughout the top of her hair. Since she is my sister-in-law, I got to kind of practice on her, which is super cool. If you guys have family members or if you guys have a, ma a mannequin doll, those are the perfect people to try this on because... Um, they're like your practice people, which is so awesome. So I continue to do this technique and you guys can see putting this on the hair, it blends so well. I was really, really, really impressed with this. Um, the way that you can feather this into the hair with the bristles of the paintbrush was really incredible. And I was really surprised to see how easy it was. And also going on and saturating the ends with the back of my hand was such an easy task too. And it made my time doing this a lot faster than what it would normally be. And there's Willow screaming because she's super excited because she's sitting in her jumpy. So that's life. So I'm just going to let it roll <laughs> because I'm a mommy too. I'm a hairstylist and a mommy. So see how I lay the hair on top of my hand and work it through those ends? Oh my gosh. It's so, this technique was such a great learning experience for me to try out. And I'm super excited to now have this technique in my toolbox because doing long hair is going to go even faster for me. So if you guys have never tried out a paintbrush, I would highly recommend to try it out. If you want to see which one I used, like a close-up picture, hop over to my Instagram. I took a picture and posted it on my Instagram so you guys can see. It's a picture of this paintbrush along with the Redken Blur Brush, the new one. So go check that out because it is really it's a really, really cool brush. I didn't get the super, super cheap ones because the bristles were just a little bit weird for me. So I tried out this one instead and I really like the way that it works. So I did a mohawk section on the top of her head because she parts her hair all over the place. It's kind of my signature when it comes to doing balayaging because I have a lot of clients that work all over. So you guys can see her hair lifted to such a great like level eight and a level nine in some places. So what we did is I rinsed, I Olaplex stepped to this for 10 minutes and then I applied my Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. I love to do this with clients that aren't, you know, really wanting to do something super crazy ashy and then I just put a toner right over this. And for her toner, I did more of a warmer color. I did like a 9GB and a few other shades that I will put in the description box for you guys. So we blew it out nice and smooth and then what I did is I used my Evo Builders Paradise Hairspray. It's a really amazing working hairspray and a large, I think I used a one and one fourth inch curling iron. And what we did is we just did some really big, beautiful billowing Victoria's Secret waves in her hair. Um, I love this because it shows off the color really well, as well as gives some interest to my client's hair. If your client doesn't wear her hair curled all the time and likes to wear it straight, do the opposite because that's something fun about going to the salon is trying out something and wearing something that you normally don't do. I love to do that for all of my clients. So especially with these big Victoria's Secret curls. I mean, who doesn't love these? And I just use one of my large detangling combs to comb it all out and it gives it the perfect perfect wave at the end. Her hair turned out gorgeous. We did a very, very, I actually did a, um, a very, very bright chunk in the very front, which we absolutely loved. I mean, look at the dimension and the, just the color in this. It turned out so gorgeous and very, very seamless. I didn't even do a smudged root on her at all. I just did an all over toner, which really speaks for itself because I didn't even have to blend that top color out at all. It just turned out so, 
so gorgeous and so seamless. So if you guys haven't tried out a paintbrush, I highly suggest you to go out and grab one of your sisters or friends and try this out. Don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll see you guys soon.